my fellow gamers. How you guys doing today? Welcome back to another Pro Guys video. Okay, so if you watched Tifu before, you might recognize the name Scoped. And if you don't recognize him already, Scoped is like the duo partner of Tifu, and he's one of the most underrated controller players in the Fortnite scene right now, especially in solos, where he's pulled off some really, really high placements and is known to be one of the best W keyers. So in this video right here, and I mean like right here, we're gonna be analyzing some of Scope's gameplay to see what we can learn from him, all right? Not only in terms of controller gameplay, but his general play style and his strategy he uses while W keying. But real quick, let's do the question of the day. You guys ready for that? Come on, give me a drum roll. Thank you. Today's question is, what type of Fortnite events did you like to play in the most? You know, from Cash Cubs, Winter Royale, FNCS, World Cup, or anything along those lines, all right? Personally, you know, from a viewer standpoint, I think the World Cup was the best since it was a LAN event and had so much money on the line, all right? And it was filled with all the big names we really wanted to see. All right, so last thing before we get into this amazing video, if you want to improve and maybe even reach a pro level, you got to check out ProGuys.com, all right? On our website, we offer courses from some of the best pros in the world like Mongrel and Benji, and we're creating new ones like every single week from advanced building and editing guys to scrim courses to controller courses and so much more it's truly amazing all right i'm so excited about it we also have a ton of articles and guides to help you guys stay on top of the meta and finally on top of all of this yes there's more there's more look at this we offer 24 7 guys on demand coaching to help you guys improve and if you want to be the best you got to check out proguides.com What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back. You know, I look at myself as a mentor to many, many different people. And in this life, you need mentors, man. People that encourage you, people that give you knowledge, people that give you wisdom and advice to do something great. You need people in your life like that, you know, whether it be a teacher or a coach or just someone who's successful in an area that you want to be successful in also. You need people like that. So in this season of your life, I want you guys to look for mentors, someone that can coach you, someone that can help you get to that next level, right? So important to do the very thing you wanna do. Connect with me on my new Insta at Your Motivation Guy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. I need everybody around the world to sit back, relax, and get some of my favorite candy. Come on, y'all better scream this out. It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. All right, guys, so to start, Scope lands at a remote area, being the Rainbow Houses, even during his W key games. When you W key, guys, it is so important not to take spawn 50-50s, as there's just that, they're 50-50s. So he lands at a remote spot and then rotates into POIs later, when he's confident in his loot and materials. Scope knows that one other player landed next to him, but he's confident in this fight, knowing that he's probably got the better loot. Since immediately off spawn, he's gotten two chests, while the opponent has barely even landed. And as the player tries to run away, Scope gets the easy kill. I'm not really sure what his goal was right there, but uh, you do you, buddy. <laughs> All right, so after looting up a bit more, Scope gets absolutely beamed by a player above him. Uh-oh. He's obviously a lot lower on health than this player, so let's see how he handles this situation. All right, check it out. So to start, he boxes up out of brick to minimize the impact on his opponent's spray. Smart. Knowing that he'll try to put on pressure. Whenever you're boxed up and don't want to get sprayed hard, always use brick or metal, as wood is like really super quick to destroy. From here, and I mean like right here, Scope makes his way back a little bit and sets up a quick right hand peek to shoot back. This ends up actually working out, as he hits him for 72 damage and he quickly turns the tables on his opponent. And from here, look at this, this fight is all scoped. He sprays his opponent's metal box, knowing he's already super low and a free kill, and simply pre-fires with his gold scar when the opponent peeks. So, all right, when you're low on HP, after getting laser guys, don't be afraid to box up with brick or metal to give you guys yourself time to heal, so important. And then from there, build for height or look for angles to get damage off from, all right? And finish it off like a basic fight. It's pretty easy, man, you got this. All right, so at this point, Scoped is low from that early game fight, right? And he decides to push into the west side of Slurpee Swamp instead of just like W King more. This is so he can refresh his shield and materials. Even in like hardcore W Key games, guys, it's a silly idea to push a fight with low health. It really, really is. Since he has a harpoon gun, you know, we can definitely expect to see a lot of fish in the Scope's inventory. So Scope takes time to grab fish and healing, right? But comes across this player fishing. 
not paying attention. This is a great player to push as he's super vulnerable and he could just sneak up and just shoot him from behind. So Scope does the classic crouch walk up and laser them play that we see a ton of pros doing. Also, all right, check this out. Rest in peace to that dude who was fishing, by the way. If you take the time to crouch walk up and like line up a shot and you have good accuracy on top of that, oh my goodness, man, you can finish off a player before they even have time to react. Just like Scope did to this player. That was kind of easy. I mean, come on, bro. Like, what could you have done there? <laughs> well, the answer is really nothing at that point, and that's why this play is so incredible. And after that kill, Scope is back in the game with full health and shield, four floppers, and five minis, along with the great weapon loadout. This is a point, man, where W King is a really good idea. <laughs> He's got everything he could, plus even more. Scope has been looking around now, and he really hasn't found anyone. All right, I want to skip ahead a few minutes right here, all right? He's now in Salty Springs, guys, with some upgraded loot and even more floppers from his run around Slurpy Swamp. He sees this player getting sprayed, and knowing their attention will be on the person spraying them, he hops in for the wall replace, and he gets the easy kill. Boom. All right, so you guys got to try looking for vulnerable players and surprise them when you're W King, as they can make even some of the best players look like free kills. All right, so next up, let's take a look at his fifth kill right here. Scope spots a distracted player shooting down at someone. Uh-oh. And does his classic play again. Crouch walking up behind him and hitting a stinky laser to end the player before he even has time to react. This play, guys, is honestly, yo, it's amazing, man. I can't even put it any other way. Also, like, I like to mention how fast Scope ends his fights. When you W key, it is so important just to finish everyone off quickly by any means necessary. Because third parties are all over the world, all right? They're all over the place. And they can just end your game really, really quick if you take too long to finish someone off, period. This is why Scope looks for those quick lasers, right? So he can just end someone and get the elimination point without anyone batting an eye. And even if the player is able to build a react, they're gonna be so low already that they're not gonna even have a chance. You know, I think we've got a good idea of how Scope plays most early to mid game fights, all right? So let's skip on over to the end game. You guys ready for this? So by the time end game rolls around, Scope has 10 kills with 16 players left. He sees a player in a base sort of hiding out and decides to make his push for high ground. All right, so in these W key games with low player counts and in game, having high ground guys will honestly give you guys so many free kills. It's ridiculous. On the players who rotate late or get caught up in fights. So we can quickly see how this helps him as he picks up, yet again, an easy kill on someone who's rotating super late. So, you know, like not many notable things happen here, you know, apart from scope simply just going for shots on anyone he finds vulnerable. So we can see how he got fifth zone here. So he's free to hang out on high ground and laser anybody trying to rotate in. And at this point, Scope decides that the benefit of going down and looking for kills is better than the benefit of playing it safe on high ground. You know, in these early lower point lobbies, guys, like the players aren't as skilled yet, all right? So holding height isn't really as important as it is in later games. He sees this loot power from someone he downed earlier, so he takes it. So after trying to W key a bit, the zone comes in and the next one is super far. The player Scope is fighting is super low, but he decides to make his way towards zone a bit. However, he notices that in the low point lobby, there are a ton of late rotators he could easily kill and you know so as long as he rotates in decent time he's not going to get held in the storm right so he ends up staying back just a little bit while you know still keeping his rotation path in mind picking up three easy kills and at this point man scope simply tunnels in a few boxes into the zone and looks for kills behind scoring a pretty easy one on a player behind him and the w key game guys you need to get hide around the seventh zone you got to so you can finish off players from above and not risk playing the 1v1 fight from below, right? From this point, you know, it's really all pretty easy for Scope. All he really has to do is just hold his height and kill the last player. But he makes a pretty poor play right here by staying far in zone. Guys, let me tell you this right now. Even if you have floppers, don't get greedy with Storm, man. You can take some Storm damage, I get it, but don't take too much where it's super risky. In this 1v1, Scope gets too greedy with the Storm and his opponent ends up getting the W. You know, however, at the end of the day, even though this was a tough loss, he still managed to pull off 16 kills, man, and really get second place, which is still absolutely amazing, and launched him into a great tournament where he ended up getting fourth place overall with an insane 83 points and only five points off from first. So from this game, guys, Scope has taught us a lot of great tips and strategies for W King. So let's do a recap and let's discuss everything we found today. You guys ready? Come on, let's do it. So even in his W Key game, Scope never takes 50-50 fights off spawn, never. Instead, he lands at a remote location and he looks for kills later on. 
which he's comfortable doing with his loot and materials and you know he finds players he can easily kill this is just so much better than taking spawn 50 50s where a player could get better rng and get an easy kill on him this works out really really well and we really recommend trying this instead of risking it all right and his second fight of the game the opposing player absolutely laser scoped from 200 down to under 50 hp without panicking which most players would not be able to do scope builds a box with strong materials to heal and then proceeds to set up and fight once he's healed up using strong materials to box up whether you're in early mid or even late game it's so super helpful guys since your opponents are going to struggle to spray at you and apply pressure so building with brick or metal instead of wood can't stress that enough that's going to give you guys a few extra seconds to heal up and then you're able to plan your attack which can easily result in a kill in the early game, Scope shows great discipline by stopping his W key game to heal and farm up in Slurpy Swamp. You know, instead of pushing for more kills and fights, guys, I'm telling you again, like, even if you're in a W key game, make sure you always have healing items and materials, all right? Or every fight is gonna be a giant risk. Don't be afraid to stop W King for a bit and just reset your game, you know? It can easily be the difference between winning and losing. And next up, we've got the good old crouch walking play, one of my favorites, man. We saw this in use multiple times with Scope slowly creeping up on a distracted enemy, keeping quiet by crouch walking, and using his crouch position and insane accuracy to hit crazy lasers in a split second, man, without his opponent being even able to react. Try to use this trick to surprise your opponents as this can really get you guys some easy kills. Gotta take advantage. All right, so for his fifth kill, Scope finds a player who's getting sprayed at from the front. So while the player is distracted holding his wall, Scope is able to just sneak up behind him and get another easy kill. So looking for distracted players, I can't stress this enough, is honestly a really super easy way to get more kills, guys. So always be aware of when you can find one, all right? In the late game, especially in these low point lobbies where players aren't really as good with rotations, grabbing high ground is an absolute must. So, you know, you can pick up easy kills on the players struggling to rotate in. We can see how Scope got a ton of kills, really, by just simply hanging out on high ground and just lasering players. And also, from waiting for Storm to hold even more players, getting three easy kills from that alone. And the last point of this video comes from the final 1v1 where Scope actually lost. Guys, whew, my friends. It is so important not to get greedy with Storm. Floppers are amazing, I get it, and you can make some awesome plays by tanking Storm damage with them, but don't get too greedy with them, all right? Because you can end up dying. Make sure to constantly keep track of how much damage the Storm is doing. Your flopper count, your positioning, you know, so you can avoid making this brutal mistake that ended this insane game. Overall, while Scope didn't quite get the W in this game, 16 kills, yo, that's not bad. In second place, it's not bad at all. <laughs> It's still super respectable and really at the end of the day it was honestly like one of the most insane games that we've seen in a while in cash cups all right guys once again this is your motivation guy that's right your friend the one and only keith allen i hope you enjoyed this video i really really hope you did connect with me on my new insta at your motivation guy thank you so much for watching this video we really really hope you enjoyed it head into your next game guys confident with the insane strategies we've gone over today all right straight from scoped himself don't forget to use code pro guys in the item shop to support us and thanks a ton if you enjoyed this video we appreciate it a bunch like a bunch of crunch if you drop a like subscribe and maybe share the video with a few friends as well all right remember to tell us in the comments like what you like to see next on this channel because we truly do read all your comments and we're going to consider every single idea right we really really will also be sure to check out proguys.com for some more amazing exclusive content you're not going to find anywhere else i promise you that that is the truth once again we'll see you next time